Welcome to this week's rendition of Stories Review. Sarah Albad, we joined by Victor Escobar as we take a look back on a couple of decisions that weren't made this week regarding two different races. And we'll start with one that did concern elliptic as well as backstretch rows as we take a look here at a race that that did occur on the 14th of November, our second race of the day here at Aqueduct. And as we take a look at this race here, Victor, can you explain to me a little bit of what we're looking at? Yeah, absolutely, Sarah. Thank you. So in this race, we had a rider's claim of foul, a jockey's objection, jockey of the... Uh, Second place finisher, uh, Backstretch Rose, did claim foul against the winner number three, Epileptic, uh, for interference that he believed occurred coming down here to the stretch. So a as we go through the pan here, you can certainly see that there is a uh, bit of a shift out from the three horse. Now as we go into the head-on, and as we were looking at this, number seven backstretch rose is going to drift in throughout the stretch run though slightly of course where we we can certainly see the horse in the yellow cap there making a big shift out but as you can see here number seven is taking a few steps inward all the same they come together here make contact and then finish out to the wire. So when trying to make a decision as to whether a disqualification is warranted or not, the stewards are to uh, ask to consider whether a foul occurred and it did that interference cost the horse the opportunity at a better placing. The things that we take into consideration for mitigating circumstances is if the other horse played a part in the interference itself. So we were able to come to the conclusion here that number seven is drifting in though slightly and not as severe as the number three is drifting out. Again, it's highlighted here in slow motion. He is taking steps inward, contributing to the incident itself. As a result, the objection was disallowed and there was no change. All right, Victor, thank you for walking us through the choice to make no change to the order of finish of that decision. Elliptic, your official winner of that race, Backstretch Rose, ultimately finishing second. As we'll look at another decision or non-decision that did occur this week here at Aqueduct that concerns horses such as Concord Spirit and Hum Stinger and sort of a similar type of situation here, Victor. What's going on in this race? Yeah, so once again, another rider's claim of foul. The second place finisher, number five, lodged an objection against the winner uh, for alleged interference down the stretch run. Again, here in the pan, you can certainly see that both horses are kind of coming off their initial path uh, that, that you can see that they're on the pan shot. As we go to the head on, once again, we will highlight uh, what we were looking at when coming to the conclusion of this. So both horses are gonna have their established running lanes. Number seven's going to uh, drift inwards again. Number five is giving himself a little room there on the rail. Right here is gonna be force point of contact. Number seven drifts in slightly. Number five subsequently is gonna drift out a little bit on the uh, number seven. So again, mutual contact made here. The uh, result was no change. All right, thank you for taking the time to walk through both of those choices made by the stewards this week. No change in both of those circumstances for the interferences that did occur. And ultimately, thank you, Victor, for walking us through what occurred in both of those races. Any sort of question, questions regarding some of these stores' decisions and for up to the minute decisions made, you can check out naira.com for more information. Thank you, sir.